Don't you think you are? Salutations, uh, officer. Marvin Mogul, celebrity manager to the stars. <coughs> JJ for Lawrence, Ruby Downey Jr., Leonardo Di Apple Pie, and uh, Paul Spud. <laughs> You're not fooling me for a <gasps> Leonardo Di Apple Pie. Oh, can I have an autograph, please? Ooh, fans. Make it out to my um uh, niece, you um little Mister Miss Sergeant Slipper. Best friend at five o'clock. Actors, do what you do best. Hog the limelight. Scene 83. Disarming the fiendish stench device of doom. Action! Hmm. If I'm going to save the world from a stinky end, I'm going to have to concentrate hard. Uh, hard. Uh, what do you know me, matey? It be looking like you could use a hand. Well, I'm sorry, who are you? Pirates from outer space. It's in the script. What script? This is an action movie! Hey, Nasha! It's me, Dennis. Nasha? I like things extreme, but Pirates from Outer Space is extremely stupid. Security! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Off the set, you lot! Nasha, come on! Let's go home! Scene 112. Nasha rescues Grizzly from Catastrophe Canyon. <laughs> Camera's rolling. Sound speed. Action! Ah, help me! Nasha, stop! It's too dangerous! <sighs> Nasha, no! <gasps> Be careful, Nasha! All but stunt double, Nasha! Dad? Didn't I mention I'm doing props, gizmos and gadgets? I made an animatronic stunt dog. Real Nash is over there. <laughs> Robot Nasha has a super accurate leap and land technology. Observe. Nasha! Okay, not totally super accurate. <sighs> bye bye, Robo Pooch. It's okay, Dennis. That was a robot. <laughs> that wasn't really him. We're making movies. Nothing is real. <laughs> That's not even a real rope bridge. It's just a, <gasps> a fancy bit of set dressing totally unfit for actual use. Coming soon, Grizzly's Great Outdoors. Watch me and a group of ordinary humans like you use all my outdoor survival skills to survive outdoors. Zero fear! The whole show's going to be filmed on drone cams, backpack cams, cams belt, belt cams, cams and beard cams. cams. We'll survive using only our wits, instinct and copies of the new Grizzly Survival Manual. Available now from all good bookstores and even some rubbish ones. Zero fear! I use my blantastic memory to memorise the whole book. Which is lucky because I forgot where I put it. Today's essential words of Grisdom are never through the forest rush, or, or you'll, you'll get, get a stray branch in the mush. mush. See? Off by heart. <gasps> we should totally be the ordinary humans on that show. What do you say, guys? Grizzly's great outdoors? It all sounds a bit outdoorsy. And Paul's getting a cold, aren't you, mate? Paul needs to potato up. We've got to find Grizzly and get picked for that show before he goes with some other ordinary humans. Define ordinary. Not going to happen, Dennis. Grizzly's off the grid. He's deep in Beano Town Woods having a relaxing survival battle against the elements. Perfect. If we track him down, that'll prove we're survivally enough to be on his show. Zero fear. <laughs> You know the way. I'm tracking Grizzly using only Grizzly survival manual techniques. Snap twigs, size 14 boot prints, beard fluff on bark. Grizzly went this way. <laughs> Fine, take the boring route. Where's your sense of Grizzly survival adventure, guys? Zero fear, guys. I know just how Grizzly would conquer this great and fierce river. First, he chopped down 20 trees with his bare hands. Chop, chop, chop! Then, he 
he'd lash them together using rope woven from his toughest toe hairs. Finally, he braved the icy waters on his raft. Or he could just paddle across. I'm pretty sure we've seen that rock formation before. Are we lost? Uh, nah. And even if we were, I left a textbook Grizzly Griller this way back trail of sausages. Sausages? Uh, zero fear. I left a foolproof backup trail of pies. What? Uh, foolproof, but not pie face proof. At last, I'm free! <laughs> Activate the device! Attention, puny humans! I am Empress Miasma, the new leader of Earth! Bow down before me! And before me! I'm her assistant leader. First, I will make sure I never again get trapped inside that hideous hound! She's gonna zap Nasha! Dennis, catch! <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Ah. oh no! Nasha! What do you call a sad UFO? I don't know. What do you call a sad UFO? A crying salsa! <laughs> <laughs> Nasha, you're all right? <laughs> oh, but I'm sorry, boy. I never should have fed you a bus-sized sausage. Wait, you puny earthlings! Submit or I shall destroy you utterly! <laughs> Share of the world. I'm thinking Switzerland. So very punctual, and I do love a yodel. Cease your pesky whining, or you'll get some of this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Nasha. How would you like to get your own back on Empress My Has Been? <laughs> and I mean big time. Oops. <laughs> uh, sorry. He needs to be bigger than that. Hang on, I'll get it in a minute. Is that all you've got? Cos, thinking about it, it might have been better to just make her tiny again. Good point, but on the plus side, Giant Nasha, how cool is that? Who would definitely have made you sick. Dad, you're okay. I made friends with this trusty steed. Hi ho, Grammy! Oh, it's good to have you back, boy. I promise I'll never feed you sausages ever again. <laughs> okay, just not bus -side. What do skunks fly around in? I don't know. What do skunks fly around in? Smelly copters! <laughs> Down for the... Oh, right. Now for the pièce de résistance, the Quadro X Fling Thwanga. <sighs> and the all-important remote control, because when you set this baby off, you do not want to be anywhere near it. The angle of trajectory allows us a direct shot into the head's office. And with a slight adjustment, we can simultaneously send three more stinkers into the ventilation ducts and pongaroo the whole school. Cool, can I have a go? No! no! Once you press that button, there's no going back. Ralph is the only one who gets to press it. This could be his last prank ever. Everything's ready. The chosen one who presses this button will be a legend at Bash Street School forever. Oh, really? And why is that? Uh, because it, um, it, it sets off a school-wide domino rally that ends with a giant domino face of whoever presses the button. Ah, uh, well, Dominotion. <laughs> Late 
Peters, Walter. We've got something important to do. Uh-huh, OK. Uh -huh. I'm so good at being bad. Oh, oh there <laughs> you are! Yeah, but not for much longer. I'm all done. We know, and we're sorry. We'll miss you so much. You were the best prank and caretaker we've ever had. The only one, really. All right, all right. It was a fun day. Now get off home. I'll see you all tomorrow. We know we'll never see you again. Not tomorrow, not ever. <laughs> what are you on about? We know all about it. You were fired from Bash Street. And when your 24 hours are up, you have to go and work at Posh Street School. And it's all our fault. <laughs> Back up a minute, pranksters. I'm not going anywhere. Huh? I had 24 hours to get everything ready for sports day tomorrow. And since you lot lost my bag of equipment, I had to borrow a new set from Posh Street School. What? So... You're not leaving Bash Street School. You weren't fired. And you'll be coming into school tomorrow as usual. Nope, nope, and yep. In that order. Amazing! <laughs> Good job, we didn't press that red button. Hey, you... Hey!